Oh, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review. And today's The Witch is on the Forbidden Corridor from 2001. So, on the front of the booklet, see Lego logo, Harry Potter logo, well, one from the time, and picture of the set in, with everything in action. Set number is 4706, and has this little that border where it's a section of Hogwarts, of course. And on the back, add for the PC CD ROM game. And also so a few alternate builds that have four steps to building. There's a tower and another corridor. And also a water pathway. Which quite fun of older sets than the last building steps. First of all, for the main things is Harry Potter himself, of which same exact kind that comes in a lot of the other uh, 2001 through 3 sets, of which, but this time has a purple cape rather than the black with stars, obviously. And besides that, everything just the same, of course. The classic face print with the trademark scar and whatnot. And next to it is Ron Weasley, same as from a couple other sets from this age of it. And first of which is Hermione Granger, of which this is probably the only way to ever get Hermione Granger until other sets the following year, of course. But also, same exact bar piece for Wand as the others, but in town which I think is kind of suiting for that, but face print of which done all kind of good for that, and the hair piece of which probably stayed exclusive to her, at least until uh, uh, Mary Jane in uh, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man line from this time, of course. And of course, some things did carry on until 2004 Preserve Azkaban line, or I think, and same a starry cape as the others, and no back torso print nor double side face since it's an older figure, and also has the blue flame piece of which representing a couple of spells, of course. And of what is exclusive to this is Lucky the Dog, and how oh, it's a quite, or quite done figure for the time of which. And it's the main reason to get this set is never did another fluff version of Fluffy. Like the uh, body piece, which is comprised of two pieces stuck together, just like the dinosaurs in the Adventurers line, of course. Uh, well, the bottom part is from that, and top part, which, which does have two studs on it, of course. And there's the head pieces, which are just all separate. And, uh, and have the molded in kind of eyes, which if this were done nowadays, I would expect uh, flat printed and all. But the lower jaw piece, just like that of the earlier crocodiles, of course. You can, but can't open all of them at once because these two block the middle, and the middle one can go up the highest, of course. And now onto the Forbidden Corridor itself. Oh, it's a quite good built for it. Well, for the time, it was probably a good bargain for that at $30, which, with inflation and all, probably puts it at like 50 nowadays. It's like this upper floor, which has a few of the jagged slopes and also a few studs hanging off, just so you can attach other corridors onto it, obviously. And of course, do have this flip-open trap door, which Bucky uh, uh, stands or rests on. But although in the movie, it's supposed to like go downwards, obviously. And also, like we had in Snape's classroom, this 
a castle doorway piece, but in this time in town, quite nice. And so this upper section, which does have the common canopy piece, but that is sand green and also has the usual back piece, of course. And also, of course, in this section is a little treasure chest that has another bar piece of which as a flute which in the books is what is used to put Fluffy asleep, but in, but in the movies, or in the movie, it was a heart that is used to put Fluffy asleep. And also, of course, in the chest, oh, whoops, is the usual key piece. And another of which is, of course, on the door to unlock it, of course. Also, if I were like go, I would suggest add bolt this and make a brick build a uh, harp to add to it to make it close to the scene in the movie, of course. Or if this was remade, do add both or just the harp. And also you have the stairs or curly stairs which oh, whoops, are still used to this day leading into the room of the Devil's Snare, which if you push the uh, red plate on there and move this up and down, you can put anything in here, and it looks like they're getting eaten up by it. Although I think they should have been a bit more like dark green, or just dark green around, as suiting to it in the movie. And from the back, which does have another one of the back pieces there, and some more of the gray spire webs, of course, also suiting to how it is. And of course, no space to fit all your figs onto, obviously. So now on to the final verdict. So overall, this I think it kind of cools that for its time. Like only time of ever getting Fluffy, obviously. But if they ever redo Fluffy, I would expect it to be probably multiple pieces, just like in the Fantastic Beasts uh, suitcase set, obviously, or just specifically shaped like the recent. Uh, Thestral, yeah. But besides that, oh, which done quite good, but for the whole rest of the set, like the Devil's Snare, if this were done nowadays, I would expect them to do a good bit better, obviously. And also do get, like, two of the big large bricks, obviously. But also, kind of less stinks that there isn't any harp to act close accurate it to the film, obviously. Although I'm sure the loop, which does kind of work with the since for the books and all. And it's also good that, also, first and only time of having Hermione in a set until other sets, obviously. And also good to have a different variant of Harry, of course, with the purple cape, on, even though the rest is the same, yeah. And if you still have this set from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say truly go ahead and pick it up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.